You know I had to do it, Duo. On September 2nd, 2014, Lucky Luciano did it to him. Ten years later, I went to the site of the original photo to do the same. I've had the idea of making this trip for over a year, but I didn't start planning in earnest until I bought the plane ticket a few months ago. The actual outfit I put off buying until the last week or two, and I ended up settling for a pair of shoes that didn't quite fit me. I almost wore a short-sleeved shirt on the trip before I realized that Lucky was actually wearing a long-sleeved shirt with the sleeves rolled up. And I spent the night before the trip making a very scuffed face mask because I wanted to document the trip for my YouTube channel, but I I also don't want to do a face reveal just yet. During the course of the trip, I rode a plane by myself for the first time, took public transit for the first time, and called an Uber for the first time. I almost felt like a country bumpkin character in a movie who was visiting the big city for the first time. The neighborhood was unassuming. People were in their backyards celebrating Labor Day. I set up my tripod and started taking pictures, trying to recreate the angle of the original. A man approached me, commenting on the ridiculous number of people who had also done this over the years, and gave me pointers on where to put the camera and where to stand. I got a few pictures that were really close, and with a little bit of fiddling I probably could have gotten an exact one-to-one -one recreation, but with the Florida sun pounding down on me, I decided to call it good enough and head back to the airport. On the plane ride home, I thought a lot about the trip and what I had learned. I learned I'm the type who will make ridiculous plans to spend hundreds of dollars and months of planning only to settle for good enough in the end. I learned that if I ever do this again, I should bring a friend because this experience would have been way more fun with someone to share it with. I learned that if I expect to do a lot of walking, I should bring a water bottle, especially if I'm going somewhere that is famous for its heat. I learned that public transport isn't so bad, but I also learned to be grateful for the rusty car I have. I learned that it's not really worth it to go on a trip like this just to take one photo. But most of all, I learned that I'm not cut out for this whole travel vlog thing, and I should stick to making YouTube poops in my mom's basement.